So we have the new fusion with Timmet, but he's paired with Kaja the Rye. I figured let's look and see what they can do together. <laughs> Welcome on the Deadwood Jedi. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. And today I wanted to look at both Timmet the Fool and the new fusion that we have going on here for this Halloween uh, season, as well as Kaja the Rye, because they're a paired duo. Their skills work off of each other. And so I kind of want to see <clears throat> what would they be like in Arena? Because Timmet has a lot of potential in Arena, but I wasn't able to see like the full scope of it because it seems like his skills work really well, but there's a lot of conditions kind of making them really work nicely in Arena. So I figured with Kaja, maybe we can get to that next level. Thank you so much for coming out to watch this video. If you like it, please take the time, hit that subscription button, easiest way to support my channel. And if you enjoy these videos and don't want to miss the next one, hit that notification bell as well. So let's start by taking a look at Kaja's skills here, right? She's got an A1, uh, heals this champion by 10% of their max HP, and if any Timmits are on the team, Heals all of them by the same amount. Kind of interesting that you can use multiple Timmits with Kaja. I think this is the only champion that has this ability to actually function with molt with duplicate champions on your team. I don't really know of any others like that. So that's pretty interesting. I can imagine having two Timmits here. You're basically true fearing or provoking the enemy the entire time and making sure they don't get any buffs up. It's kind of a kind of an interesting idea, right? I don't think uh, Timmet brings enough to really want to bring in more than one, but if you do, is going to be great for that. Uh, we also have here Revive All Dead Allies. Uh, this A2 bag with a back with a bang. Revives All Dead Allies with 50% HP and turn meter and places an increased crit rate and crit damage buff on them for two turns. If Timmet the Fool is on the same team in Dead, revives them with full HP and a full turn meter. If Timmet the Fool is on the same team and alive, resets the cooldown and instantly activates their kegs of dread skill which is pretty cool which is pretty cool because you got like an instant attack right off the jump right um so it's interesting right uh whether timid survives and or if timid isn't doesn't survive you're gonna get that ability kind of going off right away full turn meter means they're gonna take the very next turn that's the really powerful ability we see that a lot with champions like uh cardinal or cardial Cardinal, right? Uh, in the, uh, I think, Bannerlord faction. Like, extremely powerful. So there's definitely some options when using her, especially getting that crit rate and crit damage buff. There's definitely some options of using her with a team designed to be killed and then reviving them. That definitely, there's definitely some potential there. Um, so I think that's kind of interesting. Um, then we also have the Royal Flush. Builds the Terminator of all allies by 20%. Also removes two random debuffs from each ally. If Timmet the Fool is on the same team, removes all debuffs from all allies, then plays the block debuff on all allies for one turn. Uh, I mean, full cleanse, right? With Timmet, it is a completely full cleanse for the entire team, and you placing that block debuff. I think that's definitely a strong skill and ability. And then, of course, the passive all turn reduction effects are decreased by 50% when used against this champion. And if Timmet the Fool is on the same team, this champion is immune to turn meter reduction effects. And if an enemy tries to decrease the champion's terminator with Timmet the Fools on the same team, fills this champion's terminator by the same percentage instead. So very nice, good interruption kind of mechanic going on here. Um, definitely lends to some interesting potentials there. Now, how did I build her? I built her full stone skin, uh, full, uh, you know, what do you call this? Reaction gear, right? Um, and so that's going to help hopefully keep her alive for the first hit and get through to the sec so she can get her first turn off. That's really all I want. I built her with a ton of resistance, right? That is what I'm looking for here. Obviously, people are going to be able to do a better job of this than me. I don't have the greatest of gear, even if I have plenty of champions. Um, so there's kind of some limitations of what I can do, but I think this should give us a good example of what's possible out there. Mastery-wise, obviously, I went down uh, support and defensive tree to kind of add to the healing and add to that uh, resistance ability, right? Now, Timmet, I also respect completely because... I figured if we're going to go with a go second team, I might as well build them truly to do that. So I have them going slow, second slowest, right? Going to go after uh, Kaja will. Um, whether that's beneficial or not, I don't know. You know, I feel like you could definitely build Timmy to actually go first if you wanted to. But I figured this way, if there's any, you know, negative things that are coming onto us, 
he's going to be able to get cleansed first so then he can strip the enemy's buffs and put the debuffs out there. Um, what do we have? Guardian gear, right? And accuracy set. My goal here is to kind of keep everybody else alive. With that revive that we have available from Kaja, I don't necessarily need him to survive, but I want to make sure everybody else does. So this is going to help make sure Kaja lives. Um, I have him with a ton of HP, 111,000, uh, 3,000 defense, 174 speed, like I said, going second. Um, 519 accuracy, not the highest amount for sure, but remember he gives himself that increased accuracy buff, and I figure that's going to work pretty well. Honestly, like I said, I don't have the kind of crazy gear to still have guarding gear and 700 accuracy, so we're just going to go with it, see how it works. Uh, Mastery-wise, it's kind of similar. We want defense and support you to get more accuracy in the build. So that's kind of what I'm bringing. I also have Gorgid, uh, the Breaker, as well as Necrit. So this is kind of like, these two are kind of established for my go second type of team. Um, how good is it is always a question, and we're going to see how this goes. I honestly... I honestly don't know. So we're going to try this against a couple different teams and see what can happen. Now, as far as my setup, how I have that going, right? I want Kaja to revive if somebody dies, but otherwise, we're doing the cleanse with the turn meter boost. Uh, for Timmet, we're trying to strip buffs and then true fear. Because Kaja's on the same team, this ability, he's going to get an extra turn every time, which is great. Uh, the Kegs of Dread is fine with true fear, but that means that they, you know, either going to give him a turn meter fill if they you know, if it doesn't work, if it does work and they get, you know, they lose their turn, it'll allow to provoke on them. So either way, it's a good CC ability. Necrod obviously using the ally protection, ally attack ability uh, for Gjorgid here, and Gjorgid's going to do his thing. So that's the idea. I can run it. Well, we can, well, you know what? Let's try running it on auto. Let's see what happens if I do run it on auto here. Um, obviously, I can manual it, and that usually works pretty good, too. There we go. There comes the attack. There's the hex. Everybody survived. There's a provoke cleanse, like I said. We did the bus strip, and you can see the true fear there. Already killed one champion and got some hits in there. There's that ally attack. Try and take out uh, Marishka. Would be good. Obviously, you know, they have super heavy resistance champions on here with both, uh, I'm sure, Marishka. Definitely, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Duchess. Definitely, uh, the other the other lady over there in the corner i can't remember her name but you can see it works right his ally his guardian gear is helping protect everybody he's able to strip buffs when he has the opportunity get those extra turns we'll see that i think right here on his next attack right but he's helping keeping everybody alive which is kind of his goal okay he's got one more attack but this is going to be a big heal for him so he's going to heal himself almost every time anyway we can single target attack there goes duchess down second attack Almost got them all. Obviously, when Marishka goes down, that's going to be a problem. But here we're going to get an ally heal. This is one of the best parts about her kit, right? Heals people. Obviously, you know, petrification stucks. Uh, you know, this is going to be hard for me, for sure. But look, there we go. Strip some of the buffs. Our accuracy isn't high enough to get them all, but still pretty solid. We got the provokes out there. True fears and provokes. That's good. Help make sure everybody kind of stays alive on their own. Killing Marishka is going to be, I would say, a pretty big challenge for this fight. I think that's going to be the hardest thing here. But that's okay. Even though we lost a champion because of Kaja, we're going to be able to revive and hopefully keep this thing going along. We'll just have to have to see how this goes here. This, might, this is going to be one of those eight-minute fights, I have a feeling, too. All right, there we go. Got the revive, 50% HP. And look, he instantly activated that A3 ability with the True Fear. Even though the cleanse went off for the other team, that's still a remarkable skill here. Boom. Mariska goes down. There comes Duchess. That's okay. Hopefully, we'll still be able to react. Here comes a cleanse. All those skills are immediately removed. Try and strip some buffs. Don't get that. but And we don't get the True Fears out. So obviously building more accuracy would be better um you know these are top level teams here so i'm not expecting you know great numbers to be honest but we're trying our best to see what we can do uh in the meantime and that's kind of the goal here all right this is our go second team let's see how this works here now obviously everybody's kind of got their own things you could use a udk instead of a necrit you can definitely use somebody like a baron instead of a uh Gjorgid. i think everybody kind of has their own preferences of how this goes but notice we stay alive, hardly took any damage, Timid helped. We're going to go ahead and cleanse all those debuffs off Timid here. 
now he can hopefully strip at least some of these buffs. There you go. And then hopefully get a true fear out on a couple of them. There we go. Now here I want to try and take down one of these champions if I can. Uh, it does ignore shields. I kind of want to take out Duchess. I think Mariska is our first choice. There you go. Big hit. Hopefully we'll be able to take her out right now with this ally attack. Boom. First one down. We'll probably get revived from Duchess, but I think we'll be able to take her down the next time through. That's kind of the goal here. Okay, no problem. Uh, yeah, there you go. A little damage. AoE attack. All right, wasn't able to take down Mariska, but that's okay. Hopefully it is just a matter of time before we can. And that's kind of uh, that's kind of the goal here. Honestly, see if we can't if we can't hurt them all a little bit. This is obviously going to be a tough team, right? They got a lot of tanky champions, basically three support. I mean, they're they don't even really have a DPS here. It's just torment, uh, and so that's definitely the the negative part about this. But hopefully, we can make this still work for us. Get a little cleanse. Perfect timing there. Get a little ally attack ability here. Try and work on Duchess a bit. Boom. All right. Just took her down right away. That's always good. Trip some buffs. Boom. Extra turn. Get up the true fear. Perfect. All the way around. Exactly what we want. It's exactly what we want. Now, can we finish him off? Attack one enemy. Boom. Mariska's down. That's fine. Extra turn. Boom. All right. All right. And it's a wrap. It's a wrap at that point because we got we got the killers. That's what we needed to do, right? No more revive for their team. A wrap. We've got it. Oh, let's try Murder Inc. Let's see what he can do here. He's got a blender team. It's definitely gonna crush us to start off with, um, and then we'll see if we can't survive and or you know revive ourselves and come back from things. Okay, so look, first attack we did survive it. Uh, we can bring him back right there. Boom. Let's go ahead and kill Arbiter, I think, is who we want to take down if we can. Boom. Perfect. Uh, we can take down Nesha. Perfect. What do we have here? Tesla mate. Yeah, we don't, they don't, no, they have one buff. We'll take that off. Great. That's fine. Try and fear them. Boom. Even with that unkillable ability, we have so much protection between Necrit, between all these champions. Just so much protection. I don't see us dying anytime soon. Just like that. We can basically go auto now. Again, great team. Obviously, you know, these go second teams, there's definitely counters. I'm not going to win against every team I face, but I think we can see that there's some power here. Can we take down Hell Hades with this team? I mean, look, I, actually, I should go back and show you guys. Hold on. Let me let me show you guys the power that we have, the difference here, right? Look at this. When we fight, when we face teams like this, I have 400, 350. Oh, I got 400 power. That's resistance. Never mind. Maybe not worth showing again. <laughs> uh, but my, I can guarantee you my damage ability is way weaker than the enemy. Like, look at that, right? Look at that. That's ridiculous. Preposterous, I say. Boom. Activates that A3, which is great. I guess it doesn't really matter if we don't get a turn, does it? Uh, okay. Yeah, strip. I like that. Some true fear out there. Uh, let's protect him. Her? Her. She'll, she'll get the protection from us. That's fine. That's fine. A little cleanse going on here. I mean, this is just this is just really tough, right? He's got a very Hades always has a very strong team. To be expected. Not much I can do about that, quite frankly. Try and heal up. Try and get a little decreased attack out there, maybe. Maybe not. Heal up again. It's an interesting combo, those two champions, because they do so much self-healing with that A1. 
Um, and their skills tend to work, I think, in pretty good conjunction together. I'm wondering if I can get any of these guys back. If we can survive, if she can do a revive, it could be pretty interesting. Um, that is kind of the next thing. Oh, full strip. I love that. Boom. Screw feared. There you go. Let's get that revive going. We're probably going to lose one of them here. But yeah, more true fear. Although, apparently the true fear is not affecting anybody. Uh, and we're... the Oh, yeah. Attacked it because of the provoke. That worked out. I need Georg... I just need Georgia to get, like, one turn. Georgia could get one turn. I feel like we'd have a chance. Or not. My goodness. We are... Almost definitely going to be losing some champions along the way here. All right. Well, ally attack. I'm healing. Uh, decrease attack, maybe? No? Okay. Cool, 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 cool. More healing. All right. Oofta. Oofta. All right. Hades killed us. Who can we fight? Odd one's got an interesting squad. We could try fighting this. Sure. Again, they're going first this time. They get all their attacks off. The... Oh, yeah, that was an automatic. That A3 happened automatically because of the revive and he was still alive. Uh, that's kind of interesting, right? Now his skills are still back. And we can actually do it one more time. Now we got a whole bunch of fun stuff going on there. Wow, that's kind of crazy, actually, when you think about it. Um, I sort of want to take... Down. Yeah, we can take down Trunda. Part of the reason why we can... Oh, maybe we can't. Right, right, right. Protection, protection. What I need. Uh, what I was going to say is we could take down Trunda because of the Provoke and the True Fear on Arbiter. Um, yeah, so we can go ahead. It doesn't matter. It's going to go to UDK. Fine. Meter boost. Everything else is great. Uh, yeah. Now we do have to... This is the part where we kind of have to kill Arbiter. Boom. All right. Arbiter's down. That's great. No more revive. Now I can just focus on the rest of them. AoE. Can we kill Trenda? Boom. Trenda's down. It's a wrap at this point. Don't have to worry about it. It's just a matter of time. So let's let's find let's find a competitive team I can win against. El Piero? El Piero. That, that sounds like a good one. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I love the buff strip. The true fear. Boom. Oh, UDK. Almost got UDK down. Did pretty good. Took out Duchess right away. Yeah, here we have some, some real potential now. Which is great. Yeah, we doesn't quite do what I'd hoped, but Yeah. I think we're in I think we're in okay shape here. Hopefully we get our little buff strip and true fear. Boom. There's a buff strip. There's a true fear. Just what I was hoping for. You notice the provoke comes right after that. It's a pretty solid CC uh, and gives us a pretty good, pretty good shot. So yeah, you guys can see this is not, it's a, not a bad combination. These champions are, I think, quite good and they pair really nicely together. So I still feel the same way about Timid. I feel like Timid the Fool by himself is, is good. For sure, Timmit is good, but not game changing, right? But when you compare him with Kaja, all of a sudden now that's a little bit of a different story, right? All of a sudden now there's a lot, a lot more going on here, and I feel like now all of a sudden you know maybe maybe there's some good potential to this team being used because Timmit's really nice. He does offer a lot of utility. His self healing's really good. I feel like you can make him somebody really tough to beat up in arena, being able to steal stuff, the CC. All that can be really powerful. Obviously, I only have, what, 500 accuracy? You know, no blessings. Very easy, I think. Not very easy, but it's very doable to up these numbers to like 600, 700 accuracy and make it so that these debuffs land like every time, right? The strips land all the time, regardless of who you're fighting against. That's definitely something that you can put together. I really like Kaja's ability to revive. I think this is like a really nice skill especially when combined with Timmit. 
when those two are together, the fact that he activates his A3 ability, the true fear ability, if he's alive, and then if he's dead, he has a full turn meter. I think that is incredibly strong. Um, and so in you know, together, I think they do make a really, really nice combo. The kind of combo that you might see in the top ends of Arena. Um, you know, I'm not as up to date on that meta as you know some people are, but I could definitely see that, right? They provide themselves a really nice combo. Um, obviously, you have to be in people that can do the damage on top of that, but they are a nice combo. One last thing about Kaja, she does have a speed aura, um, very similar to somebody like a Duchess. I think that there is definitely potential to run those two together in a speed team as well, right? You can have Kaja for the aura or just bring in an Arbiter, right? Give you that increased attack buff. You build them with a little bit more speed, and then you're still getting the same kind of uh, approach. Now, you know, maybe you just have Kaja, maybe just to activate Timid, because honestly, if I can go booster like Arbiter with increased attack into Timid to strip the enemy buffs, place the true fear on the enemy, and then you cut and then you finish it off with your uh, damage dealer, your, your uh, you know, DPS champion. That's a pretty good approach, honestly. You know, the fact that Timmet's, uh, you know, lockdown ability is pretty strong. Even if everybody dies, you still have Kaja in there to revive them. There's definitely some potential. Even running, you know, if I built Timmet fast with a fast Arbiter and a, you know, I would say faster than Kaja DPS, you can get your attack off. They counter. Hopefully Kaja can survive with the stone skin or whatever tankiness she has. Revive everybody. Timmet has a full turn meter. Can do a strip true fear again and CC what's left of the enemy, allowing your DPS to then come in and finish them off. I feel like that's actually, you know, there's some solid potential to that approach as well. So I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Kaja. I think with Timmet, they make a good combo. So if you're the type of person that's going to be pulling shards, you're, you're like, I'm going to get Kaja. It's just a matter of time. 100% I say do this fusion. I think Timmet's going to be solid. If you're not that person, much like myself, where there's a pretty good possibility that you just won't ever get Kaja, I think it's a it's a bit of a mixed bag. It's kind of a, you know, take it or leave it. I still think he's very useful, can be good in a lot of areas, and obviously, you know, the more we play with him, the more we'll find out some niche things to use him for, but most of his unique skills really come together when you have Kaja on the same team. So without Kaja, kind of a, I would say like a B-tier champion. With Kaja, I think we're talking A-tier champion. Um, no, in no case would I say he's S tier, right? But there's some, you know, I would say, you know, like an A plus though. Like he's definitely a high A champion, right? Uh, with Kaja on the same team. So anyway, that's the review. Hopefully you guys found this interesting. I like doing some fun arena stuff. So I found this fun. Hopefully you did as well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. The like button definitely helps. And let me know what you think of this team. How would you pair these two together? Are they worth pairing together? Do you think they'll actually be good at high levels of arena? Or are they just going to be OP for the, you know, the low and mid-level arena? Let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, till next we meet, I'm the Deadwood Jedi.